In this video, we will look at how we can use the attributes of the entities to set the parameters of the blocks downstream in a Simmerance model. We currently have a model of a restaurant. The key pieces here are the entity generator which creates entities or customers of the restaurant. The event-based random number generator block which we use to create random attribute values. The set attribute block which we use to assign the entity attributes. The queue block where customers wait in line to be seated and finally, the server block where the entities are served. Currently, the attributes of the entities do not affect simulation. Let's say we wanted customers to spend time at the restaurant proportional to their attribute order time. We can do this in the end server block. Instead of the service time being a constant of 40, we can use an attribute to specify this time value. Let's change the service time from field to be an attribute and select the attribute order time. Now, entities will spend time equal to the value of their attribute order time in the server block. To terminate the Simmerance model, we can use the entity sync block found under the sync's sublibrary. Now, entities that flow into this block would terminate here. I can rename the signal scope block to reflect the signal it depicts. Running the model, we now get a more realistic plot of the average wait time to a table. To summarize, we saw in this video how to use an entity attribute to set the block parameters of the server block. Specifically, we let the attribute order size determine the amount of time an entity spends in the server. We also looked at the entity sync and how it can be used to terminate the flow of entities.